to those of you that have already joined us, welcome. We will be getting started momentarily, but I want everyone to know that this program is being recorded. We will start momentarily. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the 2020 Awards of Excellence from the American Association of Community Colleges. My name is Martha Parham. I'm the Senior Vice President for Public Relations here at AACC. And joining me today, my co-host and partner in crime, Dr. Angel Royal, our Chief of Staff. Hi, Angel. We are really excited to have you here today. And I just wanted to let everyone know that normally uh, dur during this event, we would be all together in a big ballroom, have a great dinner, a couple of drinks, be listening to an amazing band, maybe dancing a jig or two. Um, and today, obviously, that's not the case. You all know we had to cancel our, our 100th annual convention because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, so we wanted to bring it to you, straight to you, uh, where you live. So we hope that, like us, you will grab a cocktail, cheers a friend, congratulate yourself on the amazing work you've done. We really want to congratulate all of our nominees, which you're going to hear about momentarily. And we thank you all for joining us. This is being recorded and will be available for you to share with your colleagues and friends. If you'd like to follow along uh, and take a closer look at the slides, you may do so by visiting our website at aacc.nche.edu. Under quick links, you'll find the slides available so you can follow along or you can just hang out with us. So with that, I give it over to Angel to take it away and lead us a little bit of into the history of the AACC Awards of Excellence. Thank you, Martha. Um, the AACC Awards of Excellence was created about eight years ago. We're celebrating our eighth year. And it was uh, led by our president and CEO, Walter Bumpus, who wanted to establish a way for us to acknowledge excellence across the community college sector. We did start off with six awards. Um, the Emerging Leadership Award actually sunset several years ago, and in its place came the award for the Community College Safety Planning and Leadership. So we are extremely excited to bring uh, these awards to you this evening. We've had conversations with all of the finalists who have gathered in the participants area, and we're going to tell you a little bit about how the program is going to progress. So here's how it's going to work. We're going to talk a little bit, share some fun facts with you. We're going to look at the slides for all of our nominees. And um, then we're going to announce the winner and talk a little bit about the programs um, that we are featuring uh, with our winners tonight. So hopefully that sounds good. And hopefully you'll be able to hang out with us for a little while. And we can go directly into that. And let's get started. <laughs> so our first category this evening oh, is... Yes. Welcome, Alex Johnson. Oh, you're Sorry. right, Martha. <laughs> we're not perfect, but we're fun. <laughs> So our board chair, Dr. Alex Johnson, was not able to be with us uh, this evening, but he did send a video along that he wanted us to play for you. Dr. Johnson is past chair currently, but was chair of the AACC Board of Directors when we would have been celebrating um, your honors. Hi, I'm Alex Johnson, the past chair of the AACC Board of Directors. I am so sorry we could not honor you in person at the 100th annual AACC convention. So we wanted to celebrate your achievement virtually. We are so very proud of the nation's community colleges and the work they perform each day to advance student success, especially at this time of national challenge. Your achievement represents with great distinction the best of two year institutions. So thank you. And we look forward to being with you next year, but hope you will take a little time to celebrate your noteworthy recognition by the American Association of Community Colleges. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Johnson. Well, we certainly uh, missed uh, having you at convention. It was uh, very nice of you to join us for this special day. 
So we're gonna get right into it. Our first award is for advancing diversity. And at no time um, in current history could I have imagined how important advancing diversity would be than right now. And so with that, I'll talk a little bit about our advancing diversity award. The AACC Advancing Diversity Award recognizes the college that has contributed significantly and over a sustained period of time to advancing diversity in community college leadership, the community, and within education as a whole. The criteria used includes a demonstration of ongoing commitment with dedicated resource and measurable outcomes to increase diversity within the college and the greater community. Articulates in the college mission statement, dedication to social equity for all students and all personnel in terms of race, gender, age, physical disability, and sexual orientation. Sponsors programs that promote diversity, reflects on diversity in its community and student population, models innovative and progressive support in institutional equity, and maintains and advocates for policies that support diversity at a local, state, and national level. Angel, can you please advance so we can see our nominees? And the nominees are Brunswick Community College, President Jean Smith, Columbia State Community College in Tennessee, President Janet F. Smith, Florida State College at Jacksonville, John Avendano is the president, and Seminole State College of Florida, Georgia Lorenz as president. In just a moment, I am going to pivot over and announce the winner, but I wanna make sure that I have that individual in here. The winner this for this particular Advancing Diversity Award is Seminole State College of Florida. That would be Dr. Georgia Lorenz. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, yeah. I can you hear you. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. We are so excited. Seminole State College of Florida is honored to accept the Advancing Diversity Award from AACC. This recognition reflects Seminole State's culture of student achievement. And as you said, today it is more important than ever that Seminole State commits to reaching equity and educational outcomes for all students. In our 2025 strategic plan to be launched this fall, Seminole State has set a goal to achieve equity for all racial and ethnic groups in student completion and graduation rates. While this is ambitious, we believe it is the ultimate metric related to diversity and inclusion. Equitable student success is our shared vision. Even through this pandemic, our employees have worked cohesively to offer high quality education with rapid transition to remote courses. And in the wake of tragic national events, student employee leaders have collaborated to create a sustainable program that contributes to both healing and achieving racial and social justice. This action plan builds upon the work so many faculty and staff at the college have contributed to over the years in our classrooms, student services, employment and professional development activities, our business practices at the college and community relations. And I wanna give special thanks to Janet Balanoff, our Associate Vice President for Equity in Title IX for her leadership. Advancing diversity is a part of Seminole State's daily work I thank AACC for this tremendous honor shared by all of our employees, our 29,000 students, and our valued community partners. Thank you. Thank you, Georgia, and congratulations to Seminole State. Um, Georgia, are you able to turn your camera on by chance? It's not on? Oh. No. I'm sorry, I don't see how to do that. I can mute and unmute myself, but I can't turn on my camera. Oh, uh, well, you look great on the picture that you sent us, and we <laughs> will make sure that everybody has access to that as well. It's but, on the slideshow. But thank you so much uh, for your comments and um, for representing our sector so very well, and also congratulations to the other finalists. Thank you. The next category that we have uh, to announce is the 
Community College Safety, is it Community oh. College Safety Planning? I thought it was leadership? Angel, it is no, me. Is Sorry. <laughs> Again, we're not perfect, but we're fun. The next category is Community College Safety Planning and Leadership. AACC recognizes the importance of creating a safe campus environment that is free from danger, injury, or risk. I can't imagine how difficult that is, especially right now. Although that is, this is the ultimate goal, critical events like a pandemic may happen on campus and colleges must understand how to operate before, during, and after the event. Colleges can take steps to display leadership, infrastructure, and training needed to ensure a high level of safety of the institution and the surrounding communi communities. To that end, the association has created award, the Award of Excellence in College Safety Planning and Leadership to recognize exemplary practices. The criteria used to evaluate the applications include college leadership has demonstrated a commitment to developing safety training programs and leaders capable of handling safety issues. Colleges have plans for addressing safety issues as part of an ongoing program and operation. Colleges have integrated and regularly evaluates appropriate and safe use of equipment and materials in operations and programs. The college further provides information to students and faculty related to safety. The college has incorporated safety related training and associate industry recognized credentials based of, related to safety, preparedness, and response occupations into college operations and program deliveries. And the nominees for community college safety planning and leadership are, we're gonna go back to our trusty slideshow. And the first finalist is Florida State College at Jacksonville, uh, President John Avendano and Director of Safety Gordon Bass. The second is Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College, President Mary S. Graham. Jason Pugh is the Executive Vice President of Administration and Finance. Mott Community College in Michigan, Beverly Walker Graffia is the President. Teresa Stevens Locke is the Chief of Police and Northern Virginia Community College. Dr. Ann Kress is the president. Daniel Dussault is the chief of police and director of public safety. And I am going to check. And next time I'll make sure we have like a drum roll sound effect while we are welcoming our winner. And I am not seeing her in here. Um, our winner is actually not in. I'm going to just check and see maybe if her colleague is. Well, I guess now you know it's a female winner. I'm just going to check to see if she is in. Doesn't show that she is in, but the winner for the Community College Safety Planning and Leadership is Mott Community College. Um, congratulations to Dr. Beverly Walker Graffia um, and her police chief, Teresa Stevens Locke. Congratulations, both of them. Angel? So, we are next going on to our Faculty Innovation Award. Um, and all of the faculty in this category are extremely impressive. Uh, the Faculty Innovation Award recognizes faculty of AACC member colleges who have demonstrated leadership in the development and implementation of a campus program that has had positive impact on the learning experience of students. The outcome of this program should result in improvement of student completion numbers within a course or a degree field. Nominees should demonstrate an ongoing commitment to student success and access. The criteria that were used to evaluate these applications is that the faculty members had to show innovation that leads to substantive and ongoing innovation in the classroom that promotes and supports student access and success. 
The initiative for which the faculty member is being nominated should be scalable and has resulted in improved completion numbers for the college. And the innovation would focus on access and student success shows a move from low rates of student success to high rates of student success, supports eradicating achievement gaps, is based on data, incorporates the use of data analytics, educational diagnostics, and learning management systems to ensure that students are achieving mastery within the course or program. Whew, that was a lot. And the nominees <laughs> are Artie Kevin, Executive Director, Ocean Research Academy, Everett Community College in Washington. Dave Braunschweig, Professor, Harper College in Illinois. Kathleen Wolls, Professor of Nursing, Joliet Junior College. Wendy Koenig, Professor, Art History, Long Beach City College. And the winner of the Faculty Innovation Award is, <laughs> I can never scroll fast enough. Just go to search. I think this is him right here. The winner is Dave Bron Braunschweig. Congratulations, <laughs> Dave. Dave, can you please turn on your camera? They said that they're having a challenge with um, the, the camera access, so. Oh, there's unmute. Well, we can hear you. I am unable to start video, but I am here by audio. So, wow, what an honor. Um, three things I wanna bring up real quick. I wanna thank the Harper College Board of Trustees, including Bill Kelly and Harper administrators, including Avis Proctor and Maria Coons for supporting faculty innovation. If you're an administrator hearing this, you need to empower your faculty to do what they do best. I wanna thank my Harper faculty colleagues. With their support for our OER initiative, more than 100 of us have saved students more than a million dollars over the last two years. If you're a faculty member hearing this, there's a reason you have tenure. Try anything legal you can think of to help your students succeed. Some of it will work. If you want to hear more about our OER initiative, contact us. And finally, I want to thank my wife and family for accepting my dedication to open educational resources and loving me anyway. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, congratulations, Dave. I love someone that plugs their program. So uh, I appreciate that. And uh, congratulations on all the awesome work. Congratulations to all of our finalists. Um, there's some amazing stuff going on out there with our community college faculty. All right, the next category. It's still me. Oh, still <laughs> Angel, so. Where am I going at this point? We're gonna um, go um, to the other one. Usually remove Dave. Let's see. Be, do bear with us on this. Uh, we are actually, you know, we're all in this new world of virtual. It normally will allow me to not actually remove, but make him. Oh, here it is. Is it? Uh, oh, no. We need to do it in the attendee panel. Sorry, okay, <laughs> moving on. The next category that Angel is going to talk about is Outstanding College Corporate Partnership. Take it away, Dr. Royal. The Outstanding College Corporate Partnership Award honors local, regional, and national collaboration between a college and corporate partner that has achieved demonstrable multi-year success in advancing the mission and the vision of the institution, the economic prosperity of a community, region, or the nation, and the learning excellence of students. The criteria that were used to evaluate the finalists that you are going to see in a few moments is that their partnerships promote 
uh, a relationship between college and business and industry that advance the economic prosperity of the community region and the competitiveness of the workforce. They demonstrate long-standing and measurable outcomes in advancing student success that they're characterized by innovative on-campus and workplace opportunities that engage students and employers. They provide and leverage resources available to colleges and students, and they're closing the American skills gap. I should say while we're uh, waiting to read the nominations, um, you may notice that Angel and I aren't social distancing that much, but that's because we've been pretty much hanging out since this thing started. So. I didn't want anyone to think we were flouting uh, the, uh, the recommendations regarding social distancing. I assure you, we are both very diligent. And with that, our outstanding college corporate partnership, the nominees are Central Arizona College and Sun Construction Incorporated, Jacqueline Elliott, President and CEO, Dan Haig, Senior Vice President and Chief, Chief Executive Officer of Sun Construction. Minnesota Community and Technical Colleges, and American Crystal Sugar, Carrie Brimhall, President, and Lisa Borgen, Vice President of Administration for American Crystal Sugar. North Central Michigan College and Precision Edge Surgical Products Company, LLC. David Roland Finley, President. Todd Fewens, President, Precision Edge Surgical Products. Northeastern Technical College in South Carolina, and Schaeffler Group USA Incorporated. Kyle Wagner, President, Rosemary Vela, Manager of Technical Training for the Americas. Rockland Community College in New York, the Strategic Economic Consortium. Michael Baston, President, and Carl Meyer, President and CEO of the Strategic Economic Consortium. And Going to and the winner is, <laughs> if I can find it, it is Jacqueline Elliott from Central Arizona College. And I am looking for Dr. Elliott. Give me just a second. Hello, Dr. Elliot, congratulations. I'm going to, she has actually two profiles and I just wanna make sure that we have, we have promoted both of them so that if her sound is working. There you we'll, go, can you hear me? Yes. We can hear you, congratulations. Yes. Thank you so much. Um, I wanna thank um, AACC for this incredible honor. Um, for uh, Central Arizona College and Sunt Construction. We're very proud of this program. I want to thank Sunt Construction for partnering with us um, and uh, thank the faculty that teach our over 300 students that are in the program. The, um, I'm proud of the over 150 graduates that have graduated from the program with 100% employment rates. Um, if anybody would be, like to um, learn more about our program with Sunt Construction, please contact me. We are committed as an institution to replicate this pro program across the nation to help with the um, shortage of con industrial construction technology um, skilled workforce. So uh, again, thank you very much. We're incredibly honored to be uh, named the recipient for this year. Thank you so much, Dr. Elliott. All right, and while we are getting back to that, we are up, up to our final category. Uh, and last but certainly not least, probably the uh, most important thing we all do every day, and that is uh, dedicate ourselves to student success. The AACC Student Success Award recognizes a community college that has demonstrated through evidence a sustained commitment to and proactively advances the cause of student success at a community college. The criteria used to evaluate applications are as follows. 
has developed a comprehensive, bold, and strategic completion plan, has achieved measurable and significant increases in on-time degree completion, certificate completion, transfer from two-year to four-year institutions, has developed innovative programs that support student success in areas such as developmental education, student support services, K-12 partnerships and collaborations, has substantially contributed to the integration of completion goals and principles across the institution, and suggests scalable promising practices to further advance student success. And the nominees are Florida State College at Jacksonville, President John Avendano, Minnesota Community and Technical College, President Carrie Grimhall, and Wayne Community College, President Thomas Walker. This year's winner for the Student Success Award is, let me make sure I can promote, Wayne Community College. Dr. Walker, are you able to unmute? You can unmute. Or can I unmute you? Okay, yeah. got you. Congratulations, Dr. Walker. Oh, yay. I know that's the most ungracious speech you've heard so far. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> well, thank you to AACC. Uh, we're so grateful for this honor at Wayne Community College. Uh, and no college is stronger than its board. So I, I have to acknowledge, first and foremost, our board of trustees who have bought in to the idea of creating a culture of excellence. Uh, a faculty and staff is evidenced by our application who have driven this process and who have thrown their hearts and passion into it. Uh, and most importantly, our students who have bought in to our commitment to a culture of excellence. And I am supported by a great presidential leadership team and I'm grateful to be their colleague. And again, I'm thankful to the AACC for providing us this opportunity to share what we do at Wayne Community College. North Carolina proud, baby. <laughs> well, thank you, Dr. Walker. We are so excited um, to be able to share this with you. And um, we have just been made aware that Dr. Beverly Walker Grafia has been able to join us. Uh, so we are going to bring her on and let her uh, say a few words about her award. Oh, well, thank you very much. I just want to say thank you, AACC, for recognizing the important leadership role that my community college has played in community college safety planning uh, and providing policing for not only our campus sites, but also for the community. We are just so excited uh, for this award and just want to say that our officers work day in and day out to uh, ensure that this community is served and served well. So just on behalf of the Board of Trustees, our community college uh, members and our department's 21 sworn officers and 11 civilians, I am so tremendously happy to say thank you. Our efforts um, have not been in vain. We are really trying to make sure that we're providing a safe and welcoming environment for all. Much, much appreciated. Oh, congratulations. It's so nice to hear from you, Dr. Walker Grafia. Certainly. <laughs> and with that, um, I would be remiss if I didn't thank this one right here. Um, she is actually the coordinator of All Things Convention. And as you can imagine, um, having to cancel that uh, and then figure out how we do it remotely has not been an easy task. So kudos to you, my friends. Thank you. And um, I'd like to thank our, uh, our shared boss, Dr. Walter Bumpus for his support and letting us, you know, dress up in sequins and, uh, and crowns and uh, have a little toast to our awesome members and the awesome work they do every day in support of student success. We know that these are incredibly challenging times. Uh, we are so appreciative of the work that you do, you continue to do, um, and you will continue to do in the future. So thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you at the next AACC convention.
Bye, guys.